Hey girls, it's Jenna from Revolve. How are you? The last time we hung out, it was summer. Do you remember those days of freedom? I was at camp, living up life. Maybe you were at camp. Maybe you were just hanging out by the pool. And those days are over, aren't they? You're back in school, back in the routine. Maybe you're in band practice. Maybe you're playing some volleyball. I don't know what you're doing, but more than likely, you're busy, aren't you? And busyness takes over our life so fast. So I'm here to check in on you. How are you doing? Not just with your friends, not just with those guys, not just with family. How are you doing with God? Because when busyness starts to pick up, when we get consumed with all the other relationships, then it's easy to forget the most important relationship with God. So I'm here to encourage you. One way I really try to keep my relationship with God alive is to continually be talking to Him. Another way to say that is to pray. I think you've heard of that before. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 says to pray continually. And I know that seems kind of impossible, but I think it's a lot easier than you think. If you think about it, God promises us to never leave us or forsake us. That means he's always with you. So it could be as easy as while you're waiting on the bus in the morning, start talking to him. I mean, you don't have to be moving your lips to make all the other kids think you're crazy. But just start thinking, talking to him through your heart. Like, pray about your day. Pray about that test coming up. Tell him how you're feeling about this one friend. Maybe it's at night while you're in bed, while you're falling asleep. Talk to him while you're falling asleep. Talk to him as you're passing from one class to the next. It's really not hard. You don't have to get alone on a prayer bench and, you know, get all formal about it. This is relaxed. God is with you, and he's your best friend. So I want to encourage you to keep praying. You know, I read a cool quote the other day by this guy named Richard Foster, and it says, To pray is to change. So also remember, as you're talking to God, this isn't just you blabbing his ear off, okay? I know that's easy to do, but this is a two-way street. This is him getting into your heart, but it's also you getting into his heart, you listening to him back. It's a two-way conversation. So that takes time, that takes learning, but keep that in mind as you're praying to God. Don't only talk to him, listen to him. Can you do that? Because to pray is to change. And when you listen to him, your heart starts to change. Your heart starts to be convicted. And your life starts getting just a little bit easier. So keep it up, girls. Keep up the hard work. And amidst all the craziness and busyness, don't forget to talk to God about it. Because he'll bring you a lot of peace through it. I promise. Love you. Talk to you soon.